Hello. Let me explain to you my thesis. Biomimetic peroxylate bridge dimer complex is from solution behavior to model in the secondary coordination stream. The story starts with an enzyme called methane monooxygenase that. Hold on there, buddy. Those big words aren't going to mean anything without some context. Instead of telling you about this research, let's show you what it is. How do you oxidize methane to methanol? Its strong CH bond is resistant to mild oxidation conditions. Harsh industrial conditions are required. Bacterial methane monooxygenase can do it with mild conditions using iron. Iron atoms can exist in a variety of oxidation states. Iron metal readily reacts with oxygen and moisture to form rust. Removing two electrons produces iron 2, which is also reactive towards oxygen. Removing one more brings us to the stable iron 3 associated with rust. Under special reaction conditions, iron can be oxidized further to iron 4. High oxidation state iron atoms tend to be powerful oxidants. Methane monooxygenase does something special. It utilizes two iron 2 atoms in close proximity. The diiron 2 active site reacts with oxygen to produce a diiron 4 oxidant, powerful enough to oxidize methane. The enzyme can achieve this reactivity by using amino acids that bind iron and control its structural and electronic properties. Most diiron 2 complexes will react with oxygen to produce unreactive iron 3 products. The enzyme uses its amino acids to change how the diiron 2 site reacts with oxygen, affecting the oxidation state and spin state and creating a reactive intermediate. Amino acids that do not directly bind iron play a key role in modulating the reactivity. We can use organic chemistry to build molecules that host a diiron active site and mimic the enzyme's chemistry. At scale, the synthesis starts with a large amount of starting materials. In the end, the synthesis produces a small amount of the final specialized molecule called the ligand. The ligand is combined with iron starting materials to make the diiron 2 complex. The complex is purified by crystallization, starting with the complex dissolved. Typically, precipitation of the complex is induced slowly by gradually mixing in a second solvent that cannot dissolve the complex. The slow process allows the complex to form pure crystals. We can determine the structure of our complex using X-ray crystallography. Crystals are composed of repeating patterns of a molecule in a grid. X-rays diffract off the crystal, forming a special pattern. Mathematics can convert the pattern into a molecular structure. Scientists can always argue that the structure is not the same as that in solution. Nuclear magnetic resonance, or NMR, can be used to determine solution structure. NMR uses magnetic fields to induce special nuclear spin within certain atoms. Information about the atom is obtained by using a radio frequency to flip the spin, and measuring the radio energy produced as it relaxes back to the original spin. From a combination of special NMR techniques, we can learn about the solution structure and even interconversion between structural forms. Finally, we can examine the complex's reactivity and see if it works like the enzyme. Will it react? Science usually doesn't pan out the way you think it will. But from learning from each trial, we go back to the drawing board and design a new and improved ligand.